Like here, we should post show the pronation first. Yeah, you know, actually, I think they almost kind of made a mistake in their answer. They said this was under acid catalyzed conditions, yeah, so that's, that's best to show the protonation first. Because it is, isn't it the first thing that's going to do? Cause right. So basically, they're asking you to show the mechanism for this reaction. We need to show the mechanism for this reaction. Good. Can take a look at your mechanism again for a sec. Good. I just wanted to point out that you could save time by combining these two steps. You had the nitrogen lose the proton, and then separately this oxygen gain the proton. If you want to, you can just have the oxygen take the proton from this nitrogen. Okay. Um, that way you have fewer steps. That's how you'll usually, I think, see it done uh, in the books. Uh, so that's this idea here. And the nitrogen loses the proton, and then the carbonyl oxygen gains the proton, the asterisk indicates those could be combined. That's usually how you'll see it done. Okay. Um, I think that's probably how they did it in the uh, answer key. In fact, let's take a look at the answer that they gave there. How they did that, which seems long. Right. Okay, 
Um, so what, what's the name of this type of compound? Enamine. Yeah, an enamine. Just like we talked about uh, before here, we've been able to form our enamine. This is basically the same mechanism that we were just uh, going through. Here it just happens with the nitrogen. Um, so what type, of, uh, what type of functional group is this? Amine. Yeah, what type of amine? Secondary. Yeah, it happens to be a ring, but it doesn't really matter. There's a carbon chain on both sides. So we had secondary, so we were going to be in category four and not category three. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. You guys were mentioning the Wolf-Kishner reaction. Now would be a logical time to go over that. Yeah. That's an important reaction. 